some, something happened. And I really have to talk to you. Maybe I'll make us some coffee or something. Where is everything? By the sink and stuff? What time is it, Bill? I can't tell you what time it is. My watch was broke by the blow. There's a clock on the stool. It's over. What? Friend longer than I've been yours. What does she think that I've been, what, more sympathetic to you than her and these goddamn disputes you two have? If that's what she thought, she should have had the guts to tell me, confront me. I don't think that's what she thought. So what was I don't it? know, man. I, I don't think she thought. None of them think. <laughs> I don't know what they do. They don't think. They calculate. They manipulate. So what's she up to, Phil? They express their feelings. I mean, my feelings are hurt, too. Mine, too. They're all nuts. I pity them. I, I fucking pity them. She makes me crazy. I, I'm not going to see her anymore. This is terrible on a certain level, Phil. I mean, I liked you two together. So did I. A, a lot of people did. I'm very upset. Let me have some more weed. It was something, you know? It was terrible. Blah, blah, blah. Repetitive. Hey, absolutely. Blah, 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 you know? I mean... I come home in the middle of the night. She was out initially with a girlfriend, so naturally I was alone and went out in the south. What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? <laughs> it looks like, what does it look like? It looks like you're doing a line of coke on the kitchen counter at 8.45 in the morning. You're good. You coming a coke fiend, Eddie? How am I gonna wake up? I gotta wake up. Some people have coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Caffeine is fucking poison, don't you know that? <laughs> <laughs> right, so what's this Bolivian health food? Some people risk it with coffee rather than this shit, which can make you totally chemically insane. I mean, don't you watch the 6 o'clock news? I watch all the news. Bread! I found some fucking bread! <laughs> all right. You can have some muffins. Interesting story, right? They distort it, right? Cut whatever little truth there might be in it out on the basis of its unappealing, but. You know, they have to leave the surface so it looks somewhat familiar. Cars, hats, trucks, trees. So they got their scam. But to push it, they have to flesh it out. So this is where you come in. Because then they need a lot of authentic looking and sounding people. High quality people such as yourself who need a buck. So like every other whore in this town, myself included, you, you have to learn to lend your little dab of whatever truth you can scrounge up into yourself and this, to this, you know, this total, this, systematic shame, so that the fucking viewer will be exonerated from ever having to confront directly the fact that he's, you know, spending his life face to face with total shit. So that's all I'm saying. Check with me, that's all I'm saying. Forget about this lightning thing. Forget about it, but, but I got nothing else going. What about the stuff you're working on now? Anything for me? Nothing. Who asked you? Uh, there's a thing down the road on this, so it might be a good thing for you. Really? Uh, what is it? It's a special kind of David's side. Really? Uh, there might be something in for me. Yeah. Is that supposed to fuck me up? You don't have to worry about me, Mickey. What kind of tone is that? What do you mean, what kind of tone is that? That's my tone. What's it mean? My tone? Well, what does my tone mean? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to interpret my fucking tone to you, Mickey. I don't know what it means. What do you think it means? Just don't get clandestine on me, okay? That's all I'm saying. But there are not a lot of dynamite ladies around anywhere you look, Mickey. As we both know. And I'm the one who met Darlene first. I'm the one who brought her by. It was obvious right from the get-go that Darlene was a dynamite lady. But she was a very special lady. We hit it off, you know? I asked you. Absolutely. Well, okay, I'm not... Claiming any reprehensible behavior on anybody's part? Found her in the elevator. Where's the bathroom? What kind of accent is that? What kind of accent you got? I'm from the Midwest, so that's it. You want her? What do you mean? It's too crowded, see? Party? They got a bathroom? Sure they got a bathroom. What does she want with our bathroom? <coughs> is this a goddamn coke fiend you brought with you? I gotta go. Where? To the bathroom. <laughs> this is it. Hi, you got a bathroom? <laughs> it's over there.
Uh, bullshit. This <laughs> <laughs> true, Mickey? You had, a, you had a Darlene, Eddie. Is this a, the same Darlene? What I'm inferring here, Artie, is that, uh, Mickey's unlikely to be interested in this bimbo you brought by for fear of, you know, contaminating his feelings and catching some vile disease in addition. <laughs> so when did this happen, huh? You guys switch or something? I miss everything. Uh, so, you're in a serious relationship, huh, Mickey? That's terrific. Except I, uh, I ain't serious about anything, Artie. You know that. <laughs> you wanna live with us for a while, Donna? Mm-hmm. Okay, I gotta go. All she has to do for me is go down to the hotel twice a day and walk my dog. <laughs> what if she runs away, Artie? What do you want, idiot? Guarantee? Look. I can't guarantee her, but, uh, <laughs> she, uh, she worked the last time I used her. You want to guarantee, talk to the manufacturer, or I'm not the manufacturer. You're the retailer. Oh, well, frankly, from the look of you, what I am is a goddamn charity organization. Having some, you know, compassion on some pathetic fuck who's you, that's what I am. So? So, so he was straight with me, you cynical prick! So what's the point, Artie? This fucking snake tells you he lies a lot, so you figure you can trust him? That's not clear. Wake up! This guy is legendary among snakes, okay? He's permanently enshrined into the reptilian Hall of Hollywood fucking fame, this guy. You don't wake up, they're gonna eat you alive. It is an appetizer. You won't even be the main course. They're just gonna want their appetites on what is to you your, your entire motherfucking existence. You're making me nervous. I'm trying to make you nervous, Artie. Don't you know a ploy when you see one? I considered whether it was a ploy or not, and I come down on the side, I would trust him a little. Why trust him at all? I have to work with him. You're not saying that you can't work with somebody you don't trust. No. I'm not saying don't work with them. I'm saying don't trust them. I'll talk to them. Get some money, Artie. Get some bucks. <laughs> for, for, for Christ's sake, what do you want me through this bullshit for? Look, I, he's going to be pissing me, God damn it. Well, oh, sit down. So how you doing? You look good. Oh, it's a facade. What is it? That's what I meant, you know? I wasn't, that's what I was saying. It's a terrifically successful facade. So how's life in the world of photojournalism, darling? Can I have a beer, too? I just feel, I don't know. What? Well, it's the beer. The beer. I mean, uh, you're not giving this whole situation a second thought. Well, I certainly am. I mean, if no, no, no. What situation? What do you mean? Do you mean... Us. Mickey, you, me, us. Yeah, of course I am. That's what I thought you meant. Don't be crazy. Well, I have my mad side, you know. I have my feelings. I don't mean mad by crazy. I mean, mad is a kind of grandeur. I mean, uh, more like silly. Is that what I mean? Well, if you don't know, maybe you should stop talking until you figure it out. Not go around just spewing out all this incomprehensible whatever it is you're trying to say. You know, hurting a person's feelings might have some value. Hey, I opted for spontaneity, you know? Well, sure, I'm just saying. Strike a balance. Is that what you were saying? Yes, that's right. What did you think I was saying? I mean, we've all had our feelings. You know? That's the one thing this situation has given us all in common, I would say. But uh, I would hope that you're not trying to construct some unique, you know, strictly personal interpretation of things on that basis. What are you getting at? I'm not exactly certain. Are you exactly uncertain? Possibly. Where's Mickey? I haven't checked, is he late? This is a perfect example of what could drive a person right off the wall about you. I mean, you are totally off the wall sometimes. In what way? Everybody has their flaws, darling. This total way you exaggerate this enchantment you have with uncertainty. The way you just prolong it and expect us all to think we haven't tried to live in it and it's meaningful. 